Welcome back to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker, the weekly radio show that informs and educates you on how to buy or sell real estate. And it does it with Barb Schlinker, the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Now, Barb, most home sellers have a great deal of love for their properties. And sometimes that translates into an unrealistic belief resulting in mistakes that could cost them thousands of dollars when it comes to selling the house or not even selling the house. What are the top six seller mistakes that can cause the home not to sell or to sell for far less than they expected? Well, as far as pricing, Richard, the market really decides what the home is going to sell for. It's not the real estate agent. It's not the seller that put in the tankless water heater. It is the buyers that make that decision. We can make a really good guess on where it's going to sell and we can position it to get the most money. But at the end of the day, it's what the buyers are willing to pay that's going to bring seller and buyer together and get to the finish line. Zillow is not going to help you. The averages may not necessarily help you. Even similar sales in the past, especially since we've seen the market values drop a bit since last summer, it's the market. And I can definitely help you do that. Um, Every home is special and unique. And typically buyers will move on if they perceive there is a lot of work to be done. Actually, according to the National Association of Realtors, 41% of buyers will not even go look at a house that looks like it needs work just because they don't have the financial resources to fix it up. And even overpriced homes, buyers aren't going to go look at it because they're finding other better deals in their price range. So let's talk about these six seller mistakes that the typical home seller does to make the home not sell. Number one, failure to make important improvements. Now I get a lot of people that ask me, why can't I just do a carpet allowance? Or why can't I just, you know, you know, do it another way? And I'm like, it's possible. It's going to take longer. Um, But they really have to understand that you're willing to do that concession because if you have really tired old carpet, the buyers are very visual, right? So they're going to go in and they're going to go, uh, I need to do work here. And they're just going to pass on it because it's a big hassle, especially to replace flooring. So it really depends on what your competition is when you do something like that, but make the important cosmetic improvements. All right. So that's, that's the one mistake, but, you know, consider some realistic upgrades. Buyers really love cosmetic improvements. Fix those broken things. Make sure your curb appeal looks good. And make sure your pictures are great because most of the buyers will scrutinize whether or not they're even going to go see your home based on the photos. Number two mistake is making improvements later in the game after the listing is what I call kind of stale on the market. Um, It could still work. It's just that you're better off doing that before you go on the market. Typically, most of the buyer's eyes are going to be on the home within the first 30 days that it's on the market. And then mistake number three, which should be obvious, is if you price it too high. Um, And that's another thing where the market's going to tell you immediately if you missed it, right? So if you've got good marketing and then all of a sudden you're not getting showings, then you're priced a bit too high, maybe 5%. If you're getting showings, like a good amount of showings, but no offers, you're probably three to 5%. If you're getting lots of showings, but no offers, you're probably two-ish percent. Sometimes it's only 1%, but that's part of what a really good agent will do is, is analyze what's going on, look at the feedback and communicate with you about what's happening so that when your home is on the market, you can really gauge where are we at? Are we consistent with the market? Is it just going to take time and finding the right buyer? You know, there are some homes that are very unique. I just sold a home that was built in the 1990s and it was designed Victorian, like an 1890 home, complete with wallpaper and lacy curtains and the whole thing. It was beautiful but it's a very unique taste. So that's not something you can expect to necessarily go overnight uh, if you have a unique type of home. And my name is Barb Schlinker. I am the host of this show, Your Real Estate Voice. I'm also the broker owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb has the buyer's team. And what we're talking about right now are the top six seller mistakes that may cause your home not to sell. And next up, we're going to talk about the rest of mistakes and how to avoid them.
Richard? You can always get in touch with Barb at 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. So Barb, what other mistakes do home sellers make that might cause a home not to sell at all? Well, um, first of all, pricing it too high is absolute critical one. So try to make really good decisions about pricing. Some people price according to what they're going to put in their pocket, but at the end of the day, the home is going to sell at market value. And there's a number for that, right? Um, So some people say, well, I want to buy this, or I want to buy X, or if I don't get this much, I'm not selling. And of course that's their prerogative, but at the end of the day, Pricing it realistically versus optimistically will actually get you the most money. So what I have right now, I'm going to do a little exercise on what I call the Goldilocks pricing strategy. If What would happen if you price it slightly low? So the only time I recommend low pricing typically is if there are condition issues. Like I had one uh, that was just really needed a full-on remodel. So the strategy was to go on the market super low and let the market bid it up. And it was very successful. Um, Or maybe pricing low because it has work that needs to be done. So I recently sold a home in the Southwest part of town on Hercules. Great neighborhood, by the way. Similar sales were priced between 550 and 600,000. However, this home was built when I was built back in this, you know, fifties and sixties, and it needed a new boiler. It needed new air conditioner. It had some mechanical systems that really needed to be replaced. Um, but overall, cosmetically, it was just okay. So we decided to price it very realistically. We went in a good um, ten percent below the lowest comp at five oh five. We had. This is just a month ago, Richard. We had 87 people at the one hour open house and it sold for 35,000 over asking price. So almost close to market value. And the contract was as is, we'll take it. What do you think of that? Wow. Wow. The fact you get that many people out there and in one day we'll take it as is done deal. Amazing. Right. Amazing, Barb. Yeah. And so it's, it's all about strategy, right? And then the next thing would be pricing too high. Okay. If you price too high, the market's going to speak. In this case, the market spoke to us. It was really somewhat remodeled older home, um, but we were getting showing after showing and we we're getting offers, but the offers were low ball and the seller's like, Nope, I don't want to take that. I said, okay, no worries. Maybe we just do a little adjustment, not three percent but just one percent so that's what we did and sure enough it sold for full price right away and then there's a magic of pricing just right so i had this home uh in on the southwest part of town on oak creek um lovely lot it's a four level it backs to open space it's been very very well maintained the kitchen has been updated the bathrooms have been updated um And what was weird when I looked at similar sales, the range was almost a hundred thousand dollars spread. So what do you do? You know, do you go right to the max or not? And so what the seller did was kind of did the low middle, which I thought was really smart. Similar sales, identical size in the neighborhood sold between 475 and 569. He priced it at 499 and it's, we had 36 people at the open house. And just a few days after that, it sold for full price. So that's what I call the just right pricing strategy. And I can help you do that. So if you are thinking of making a move, give us a call at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Part of the services that we provide is a free in-home consultation on what to do and what not to do to get your house ready for sale. Um, we'll give you a really good idea what price range your home will sell for, how much you'll put in your pocket, and also show you some buyers that we have that are a match for your home, including 64 high net worth uh, cash buyers. So just call us at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Mistake number four is bad pictures. Now this should be known already but I still see mistakes online of agents really putting up bad marketing on, on homes. Don't let them do that, no matter what. Mistake number five, and I've done this for 27 plus years, um, is to basically sell the home on your own, okay? So 
uh, there are people that have been very successful selling their home on their own, and there's nothing wrong with that. And sometimes it's appropriate. There are a pretty much large percentage of homes that sell by owner. Perhaps maybe they'll go directly to a cash buyer or something like that, or you know somebody that wants to buy it. That's okay. But make sure you get legal advice or real estate advice to help you through the process. Um you know, both buyers and sellers want the best home. Sellers want the highest price. So what's changed is that the internet is showing all. And the internet does really good at showing and predicting where the market's going. Just take a look at any home on Zillow. It's going to show you when they think it's going to sell. And then buyers don't make commitments because they like a home. You have to get them to love a home. Well, how do you do that? We help clients do that by giving them a really good idea what to do and what not to do. And make sure, mistake number six, is not listening to the market, not listening to constructive feedback and responding to it appropriately. All those things will help you avoid having your home sit on the market and not sell. So if you are thinking of making a move, give us a call at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb is your real estate voice. And if you're thinking of making a move, call Barb, 719-301-3900, or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. Barb, it's time for the lightning round of some of your hot new listings. Tell us about them. All right. Well, I have this great home on 6153 Nash Drive. Um, priced at four ninety nine, dollars beautiful, almost new four bedroom home. I have another lovely fountain home at three seventy four nine 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 dollars on Sneffels Street, a gorgeous uh, four level home in great condition, a home on 35 acres on Powers Road in the upper threes. That's a bargain. And it also has a, a massive detached garage. I have another beautiful, almost new home on Lavanya Place priced at four forty nine. dollars and also a spectacular rancher that backs to open space down at Fountain in the low fives on Weeping Willow. We also have a beautiful Briargate townhome at 329999 completely updated with a great little patio in the back. It's hard to get those for townhomes. Another fountain property on Brundage that backs at the end of a cul-de-sac with a nice big backyard in the low fours. A beautiful rancher with an RV garage plus a two-car detached garage on Cunningham. In the mid fours, amazing home, backs to open space on Palma Valley in the upper sixes. Gorgeous home in Peyton at 749.9 on five acres. Big, big home, multi generational home, be a great home to have multi families live in there. And then an amazing home on Woodmont Drive uh, in the upper sixes now. And that home is in uh, the prestigious Stone Crossing neighborhood close to. Uh, Air Force Academy. And the last one is a beautiful ranch home. I'm sorry, it's a beautiful two-story in prestigious Woodmore Drive at 805 Winding Hills Drive, uh, priced at $814,999, a gorgeous home with main level living. So if you are thinking of making a move on a look at all of our homes, go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice. It airs every Saturday at a new time, 11 in the morning, right after Larry Kudlow. And if you're thinking of making a move, call Barb at 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. You can see replays of this as well on barbhasthebuyers.com and kick you over to uh, YouTube. Or you can listen to the podcast on all of the platforms, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and many others. Thank you for listening. Reach out to Barb at 719-301-3900. Barb, Merry Christmas to you, all those who love you and all you love. Thank you. Merry Christmas to all of you as well. And thank you so much. Have a great weekend. 